there are several types of contacts. It is important to know what effect they have on your analysis. In this lesson, we will discuss what the different types of contacts mean. There are seven different types of contacts. Bonded. A bonded contact simply means that two parts are connected to each other with a permanent type of bond. An example would be a welded connection. Separation. A separation contact will allow for two parts to separate from each other, but it will not allow them to penetrate each other. For this contact type to work, one part needs to contact another part and then separate from it, like a bat hitting a baseball. Sliding, no separation. Sliding with no separation means that the two parts are allowed to slide past each other in the simulation, but not penetrate each other. In this example, you can see the difference between a bonded contact and a sliding no separation contact. Notice how the stress is concentrated in the bonded example, but in the sliding no separation example, the stress is pretty much evenly spread. Separation no sliding. This contact type means that two parts are meant to impact each other and then stick to each other. This example shows a pin with an indention. When the indention contacts the mating part, it is meant to stop and push on the mating surface. Shrink fit, sliding. When a grommet is in a hole that is smaller than it, it, that is a shrink fit contact. If you put a pipe through the grommet, that would simulate sliding. Look at the example and imagine sliding the pipe through a grommet. The grommet stays put in the hole while allowing the pipe to slide through it. Shrink fit, no sliding. In the previous example, we talked about the pipe sliding through the grommet. To explain no sliding, think of the interface of the grommet to hole relationship. Where the grommet touches the hole, there is an interference in the negative direction at the start of the simulation. As it pulls away from the hole as the simulation is run, say for a modal analysis. For instance, if you were concerned that the pipe might rattle about inside the hole and cause the grommet to fail. Spring. A spring contact is used to simulate the action of a spring without using the actual physical spring model itself because that is a very complex model in simulation. When you activate the spring contact, you are given some options that you did not have before. You will see in the dialog that there are normal and tangential stiffness options for you to enter. In order for an assembly simulation to work, all of these contact types must work in concert with each other. You must accurately convey the real-world intent of the design via these available contact types. If any of the conditions you are going to experience when the design is put into action are not exactly explained by these contacts, your data will not be accurate. Take great care when dealing with assembly analysis to generate the correct contact conditions.